Good day, kids. How are you? I hope that you're feeling great. I am Sir Kim, and welcome to our math class. Today, we'll be talking about different angles, attributes and properties of triangles and quadrilaterals. After this lesson, you'll be able to describe and illustrate the different kinds of angles. To start with our lesson, tignan natin itong mga illustration na ito. What can you say about them? Tignan natin yung figures 1, 2, and 3. Sa mga shapes na ito, makakakita tayo ng angles. Ano nga ba ang angle? Angle can be defined as the figure formed by two rays meeting at a common endpoint. It can be measured by degrees. Types of angles Right angle An angle whose measure is equal to 90 degrees. It can be represented by drawing a small square box between the arms of an angle. Parang ganito. Another type of angle is acute angle. An angle whose measure is less than 90 degrees. It is smaller than a right angle. Parang ganito. Last type is called obtuse angle. An angle whose measure is more than 90 degrees but less than 180 degrees. Ano nga ba ang isang polygon? Polygon is a closed figure made up of several line segments that are joined together. Ito ang mga examples ng polygon. Line segments are called sides and do not cross each other. Many objects around us are representations of geometric ideas such as shapes. A quadrilateral has more properties linked with it than a triangle. A quadrilateral is the most important and common type of polygon. Common types of polygon Triangle Triangle is a polygon with three sides, three angles, and three vertices. The sum of all internal angles of a triangle is always equal to 180 degrees. Quadrilateral is a polygon with four sides, four angles, and four vertices. All internal angles of a quadrilateral sum up to 360 degrees. Ngayon, pwede nang simulan ang pagsasagot ng mga learning tasks. Learning task 1. Read the story of Paula and find out how her older sisters could help her by answering the questions that follow. Learning task number 2. Read the story of Mrs. Perez and find out how she solves her problem. Study the following figures. Can you describe each illustration? Say something about the shape, number of sides, corners, and the kind of lines it is made of. Learning task number three. Tell whether each type of angle is right, acute, or obtuse. Write your answers on the space provided. Learning task number four, draw the following angles and name them by using the following. Learning task number five, give the kind of angle represented by each of the following figures. Learning task number six, tell whether each figure is a triangle or a quadrilateral. Write your answers on the space provided. Learning task number seven. Using the drawing below, 
tell whether the figure labeled by each letter is a triangle or a quadrilateral. Write T on the space provided if it is a triangle and Q if it is a quadrilateral. Learning Task 8 Answer the following questions below. Draw a triangle if your answer is yes and a square if your answer is no. Learning task number 9. Give what is asked for each item. Letter B. Draw your dream house using different angles. Label the angles used. For our final learning tasks, A. Answer the following questions. Write the letter of the correct answer. B. Draw a rectangular garden. At the center, draw a triangular pool. Design your garden with any four-sided object that will make it beautiful and attractive. Ito ang mga dapat tandaan about our lesson today. Angle is a figure formed by two rays meeting at a common point. Meron tayong three types ng angles. Right angle na may 90 degrees. Acute angle na may less than 90 degrees. At obtuse angle na may more than 90 degrees. Ang polygon ay isang closed figure na binubuo ng line segments. Common type ng polygon ay ang triangle na may 3 sides, 3 angles, and 3 vertices. At quadrilateral na may 4 sides, 4 angles, and 4 vertices. Sana ay unawaan mo ang lesson natin. See you next week dito sa ating math class.